everyone welcome to the next session of answers workbench tutorial in this session we are going to take up another numerical of simply supported beam which is subjected to udl that is uniformly distributed load i'll first go to static structural and double click on it i'll rename it as simply supported beam with udl I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modeler, geometry. I'll go to XY plane, look at sketching, I'll choose a rectangle. I'll give it some dimensions. Say this is 50 meter and this is 15. Next, I'll go to extrude. The sketch is already selected as I can see. Apply. I'll give a depth of 5. Generate. This is my simple geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh, sizing. I'll choose fine, update. I'll go to analysis setting. Since I'm going for uniformly distributed load and I'm choosing a simply supported beam. So I'll go to one end, right click, insert, pick support. On the other end, right click, insert, pick support. Now, since I'm going for uniformly distributed load, I'll go to the entire top surface, right click, insert, force. I'll change vector to component and I'll apply force in the z direction that is minus 5000. Now this entire area is subjected to this load. I'll go to solution, right click, insert, deformation, directional. Since I've applied load in the z direction, this will be z. Right click, insert, stress, equivalent and right click insert strain equivalent i'll go to solution right click solve i'll go to directional deformation and we can see the deformation here for a uniformly distributed load over a simply supported beam. This is stress generated on this body. And this is the strain that can be seen. Now you can have a doubt that this value of strain is too much because it looks a larger than life animation. But it is actually not so. You can check the values over here. It is actually very small because it is 10 raised to minus 9 which makes it very very small and it is an mm. You can also go through the video of simply supported beam for a point load which is acting at a particular distance which I have already created a video on. That will give you an idea on the difference between these two types of numerical. I hope you have understood the numerical and the procedure to solve it using ANSYS. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you.